Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, November 26th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across, influential booksellers, and this is wordplay. I guess they're not talking about Barnes and Noble. Influential booksellers. Interesting, I'm not sure where the pun is here. Big competitors in European auto racing. Hmm, is this a nationality? I'm not really big on European auto racing. Brie Base. Oof, I don't know this one. Locale in Dante's Inferno? There's a lot of different locales in that book. It seems like this could be a lot of different things. Classical orator. Hmm. I have no idea. Boy, this is a tough corner. Clear the tables. Is this going to be win? Is this an expression you could use in poker? I'm not sure if that's right. Hiccup, so to speak. Hmm. I guess this could be a snag. Let's see if we can build off of snag here. Scottish Highlander. Hmm. Uh... Is it going to be Gale? A-E-L? Is that even a word? I'm not sure. Like Gaelic? Hmm. Well, this does kind of look like it could be plural. Search for the wanted. That should be a manhunt, right? Nice. Okay, I think we finally have our first solid answer in there. Why don't we take a look at this grid spanner while we're here? Jean Reese novel that's a response to Jane Eyre. Ooh, I actually know this, um, or I think I know it. It's something that showed up on the crossword, and that was the first time I'd seen it. Um, I think it's something like Deep Sargasso Sea, or Wide Sargasso Sea. I can't remember what the first word is. Um, yeah, I think it's going to end like this. Is it deep or wide? Hmm... Maybe this is BMWs. There we go. So this could be Wide Sargasso Sea. Very nice. Yeah, it's kind of like a sequel to Jane Eyre, I think. Written by a different author. Rebase, yeah. I'm not going to know that. Okay. Ignore this in proofreading. That's stat. Okay. Locale in Dante's Inferno. Maybe this is just the underworld. That would make sense, yeah. Uh, hmm. Man, I have no idea still. Clear the tables. Oh, that's gonna be bus. At a restaurant, you're clearing the tables. Influential booksellers. Oh, you know what this is gonna be? It's gonna be blurbs. Like blurbs on the jacket of the book. They're influential in selling the book. That's very funny. This sort of looks like it's gonna start with rhetoric or something. Classical orator. Hmm. Corruption. Okay, that could be rot. What is this? It's using a word that's close to rhetoric to describe a person? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Six-time NBA All-Star Kyle. I feel like I may have seen this name before. Pain reliever option. Well, with that T in there, I really want it to be Tylenol. Hmm. Yeah, this is still not ringing a bell. T blank? Bit of romance language. Romance language? <laughs> um, is it T amo? I thought it was T amo. T e. Hmm. I think it probably is this though. I'm not sure why it's T i. Hopefully the goose can explain that. Work or workers? That's got to be labor. Neighbor of a Yemeni? Uh, maybe that's an Omani. Okay. Is this Lowry? Kyle Lowry? And this is a Retor? <laughs> I have never seen that word before. That is wild. Okay, open many tabs, maybe. Are they talking about web browser tabs? Or are they talking about bar tabs? We already have bar down here. Um... Bar hop would be a clever answer, but that would be too short. 
Hmm, maybe this is bartend. Yeah, it's not the person paying for the tabs, but they are opening a lot of tabs. That's very funny. Connected, say. Maybe this is about the internet? This is gonna be online? Yeah, it's not being connected to powerful people. Unfailingly loyal. I think this looks like it's gonna be ride or die. That's a very modern phrase, that's pretty cool. Do the final step in needle threading. That's gotta be tie a knot, right? Yeah, okay. Unmoving, that could be inert. Bank holding, maybe that's a lien if they've given out a mortgage. Okay, turn to refuse. Is this trashed? Yeah, I think it has to be. Scottish Highlander, hmm, I wonder if it is Gale. This would be an E. Gain admission, yeah, that could be get in. Wow, okay, that was a good guess. A toast, hmm. Is this a toast that someone would give at a wedding? Or is it a piece of toasted bread? Hmm. Finish that's rough to the touch. Finish, hmm. It's not matte. I'm not sure what they're talking about here. Inconsistent. That could be hit or miss. That's a nice entry too. A toast, okay, that could be salute. Yeah, that's something you would say while you were giving a toast. Cries of clarity. Hmm, I wonder if it's just O's, yeah. Refusals, is that just no's? That would be pretty straightforward. Hijinks. Uh, hmm, what's another word for hijinks? Uh, I'm not sure. Eclipses, is that shows up? You're kind of eclipsing someone else's performance. What's this down here? Pairs. Hmm. It really looks like it's gonna start with two, doesn't it? I don't know how it's gonna end, though. Ray of the Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl. Uh, that's Issa Ray. Yeah. They're not to be missed. Uh, hmm. Not to be missed. It seems like this is talking about something very specific. Some retreats, that'll be spas. So we should be able to get this. Shouldn't this be antics? Yeah, so this is Oz instead of O's. Man, that's tough, okay. Uh, so what is this, cues? You don't wanna miss your cue if you're an actor? Yeah. Attitude, that's gotta be sass. Hmm, maybe this is twosomes? Yeah, that does make sense. Um, it looks like it wants to be studio. Is that a finish? I've never heard of that before. Let's see if this is a D. Ghanian and Ivorian export. Hmm, uh, I'm not sure what they export. Let's see if this is an I. Piano bar mainstay. Hmm, piano bar. I'm not even sure what a piano bar is. Is that a bar where there's live piano music? I'm not sure. People claiming to possess special enlightenment. Hmm, how would you describe people like that? Let's get some crossing help if we can. Sparkled could be shown. Preacher in a parable. Hmm, is this a fable by Aesop? I don't know if I know this one. Paolo, who wrote The Alchemist. Paolo, hmm. I feel like I've heard of this before. I can't remember this author's name. Not keeping up. Hmm, boy, we had some trouble in this section, didn't we? Blank Belle Histoire? French love song? Uh, hmm, I'm gonna guess that it's Un. It feels like it needs an article here. Bugs Archenemy. Bugs. Is this talking about Bugs Bunny? This could be Elmer, right? That's pretty funny. Uh, hmm. In a parable. Oh man. 
What if we can build off of this L? Key piece of an overlock sewing machine. Oh my god, I have no idea what this is. I've never heard of an overlock sewing machine. Hmm. Père d'une princesse? Okay, this looks like it's French again. This should be father of a princess, right? That should be a king. And in French, a king is a roi, I think. R-O-I. Let's see if that helps here. Hmm, not really. Oh man. These are pretty common letters too. Shoot, maybe we can try building up from the bottom here. Changes, that could be alters. Idolize. Hmm, idolize. Oof, I don't know what this should be about. That could be circa, if you're talking about an approximate date. All right, shuns without. Hmm, shuns. So you're shunning another person? I don't know. Mope, that's got to be sulk. Now, an equivalent phrase. Maybe that's stat. No chance, another equivalent phrase. Maybe it's just, uh-uh. Very brusque. Singer Ford with the 1988 song, Kiss Me Deadly. Hmm, I don't think I know this singer. Convenient setting for the forgetful. Um... Is it auto something? I don't know what the context of this should be. Convenient setting. Hmm. It's not like auto play. That doesn't feel right. Is it? Yet another equivalent phrase. This is the corner of equivalent phrases. I think this should be that so. It feels kind of skeptical. Tech that reduced demand for maps. That's got to be GPS, yeah. Lead into Felipe or Miguel. Is it Sao? Yeah, maybe these are Portuguese or Brazilian cities. This is auto pay. That makes a lot of sense so you don't forget to pay your bills. And then, what is this? Lita? L I T A? What is this second grid spanner here? Chinua Achebe novel that's a response to Heart of Darkness. Um, yeah, I believe this is Things Fall Apart. Yeah, I haven't read either of these, but I have heard of both of these books. Okay, this has got to be DFI. Yeah, you're treating someone as a god. Shuns Without. Okay, that's got to be Ices Out. Yeah. Psychoanalytic Subject. Uh, is it just the self with that article at the beginning? Yeah. Crazy Rich Asians actress Gemma. I don't know this. I would guess it would be Chan maybe or Chen. Is this an N? Piano bar mainstay. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh boy. We didn't get any help here. Maybe we can build back up through this long down answer? Let's hope so. Spoken word competition. Okay, that could be a poetry slam. The first black American sorority in brief. Oh man, I think I have seen this on a puzzle before. I can't remember what it is though. Alternative to sunbathing. Could that be a fake tan? Nice, that's pretty fun. Most seaside towns have one. Is that just a main street? Yeah, I think this is right. I remember thinking this sorority's name looked like another common crossword entry, aka, I believe that is right. Okay, ocean spray prefix, that's gonna be Cran. So this is not main street. Hmm, very interesting. Maybe it's not an A here either. Shoot. Mountain whose name means I burn. <laughs> I think that's going to be Etna. Yeah, it is a volcano after all. So what is this going to be? Oh, maybe it's a marina. Yeah, it's a seaside town. Of course they would have a marina. Okay. Um, I don't know. Is it a looper? I've never heard of that. 
Formerly could be once though. Okay, that's looking very good. Is this the Illuminati? People claiming to possess special enlightenment. Okay, sure. Um, is that gonna help here? How low? Oof, it doesn't really help here. Not keeping up. This looks like it has to be too slow, yeah. So what is this? Preacher. Is this a sower? Does this have something to do with the phrase, as you sow, so shall you reap? I bet it is. I have a feeling that's what this is about. Um, this is still looking totally unfamiliar. Piano bar. Maybe this is a crooner. Yeah, they would be singing along to the piano music. Okay. Um, oh my god. Uh, oh, this is stucco. Finish that's rough to the touch. Yeah, we just had stucco a few days ago, too. I guess it didn't stick in my mind well enough. Um, what could this possibly be? If this was an A, this could be Coco. And this could be... Colo? Oh man, um, I guess that looks very strange. That's a weird string of letters. I don't know what else to do here though. I think we have to put it in and give it a try. So let's try Gemma Chan and let's try Paolo Colo and hope that that'll do it for us. All right, a Saturday puzzle in 24 minutes. That felt like a very good Saturday time for a pretty tough puzzle here. It almost felt like we had a little bit of a mini theme today. Yeah, we had a literary mini theme. It started out with this wordplay clue, influential booksellers for blurbs. That was very funny. And that leads us into two grid spanning book titles, a Jean Rhys novel, Wide Sargasso Sea, yeah, the reason I'd seen this before is because Jean Rhys has shown up on puzzles before and she's always clued as the author to Wide Sargasso Sea. I think that's definitely her claim to fame. And we also had Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe. Yeah, I have definitely heard of this one too. I imagine your enjoyment of this puzzle is going to largely depend on whether you've heard of one or both of these books before. Yeah, thankfully we got pretty lucky today and I'd heard of both of these books before. There was also some very tricky proper nouns today. This was very, very hard. This is a pretty unusual name. I've never seen something like this before. Paolo Colo. There was also Lita Ford. I hadn't seen her before. And also Kyle Lowry. Yeah, these are kind of tricky names, although thankfully none of them are crossing other tricky names. So I feel like these were crossed pretty fairly. And if there's a good day to learn about some more lesser known people, it's definitely a Saturday, yeah. We also learned the word retor. Oof, that was a very tricky one. There was some good tricky cluing on the puzzle today, but I think this one was by far my favorite. Open many tabs, maybe. Yeah, this one definitely had me thinking about web browser tabs at first. That was a really nice misdirection. All right, well, how did you feel about this puzzle? Was it hit or miss, or are you a ride or die fan of today's grid? Either way, I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice long lazy Sunday solve, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.